Who is Teacher Damien? And do you really care anyway? And what's the deal with all these masks? Pretty weird, right? Hi, I'm Damien Herlihy, the English sledgehammer that smashes down English language barriers. Now in this episode, I'm trying something a little bit different. It's gonna be more, I suppose, free flowing, less editing and me just talking to the camera. Um, why did I decide to do this? Because I was doing a Skillshare course online through, uh, with Nathaniel Drew, who talked about trying to improve your presence on camera. So most of my videos I edit extensively. So in order to get better at speaking in front of camera, I wanted to try doing more of an unscripted series. So this will be the first episode in English Riot Rants. Um, to get better at something, you need to practice it. And that, a lot of this, I think, a good theory that explains language learning or learning any skill is skill acquisition or skills acquisition theory. Uh, with, with skills acquisition theory, it's talking about doing you know, deliberate practice to improve your skills. So for me, talking in front of a camera like this is a form of deliberate practice. It's me practicing being comfortable in front of the camera and not using a script as such. So more just me. And we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And, and another important element with deliberate practice, which you can use if you're learning in English, is that you practice it intensely and then you also have a feedback a feedback stage. So yeah, at the end, maybe here, give me some feedback, leave a comment, tell me how I go speaking unscripted on camera. So for this, I thought I'd, you know, take a very easy topic talking about me. Um, if you're not interested in finding out about me, then, you know, check out my other videos, which are more on uh, teaching content for learning English. Uh, so this is my background story. Um, with teaching English, uh, I suppose it started, the idea of it or the seed of the idea was planted when I was traveling through Southeast Asia when I was uh, about 26 years old. And one day we were in a small coastal town in Vietnam called Hoi An and we went on a, a scooter adventure. Me being me, I was very uh, uncourageous and didn't want to take a risk riding a scooter by myself. Um, because I mean, I mean, I probably had warranted fears because when I was young, I didn't learn to ride until I was about, I don't know, seven years old and then I, I would have bad accidents all the time, riding, falling off the bike, hitting my head, running into poles, etc. So when you put me on a motorized uh, vehicle, um, it was probably gonna be a recipe for disaster. At least that's what I thought at the time. Uh, so I rode on the back with one of my friends, another friend had a scooter by himself and we also went with this uh, Australian couple who we'd met there and we decided to ride around Hoi An and visit, visit some places. Uh, while on that trip, uh, I was talking about ideas because I, I, having been in Southeast Asia for a few months now and lived in Singapore, I decided, yeah, this is a place where I would, I don't know, like to come back and, and live and work, but I wasn't really sure how I was gonna do it. So I got talking with this Australian couple and the, female's partner of the, the guy said, hey, why don't you do a CELTA certificate? I'd never heard of a CELTA. So I wrote it down 
on a map. Actually, I still have that map. Wait one second and I will go get it for you to show you exactly what happened. Five minutes later. <laughs> so, here is the actual artifact itself. So I took this map when we went on a uh, scooter adventure and when uh, she told me about the course, I wrote on the back, Celta and what Celta means. So that, those, how many words are there? Letters, C-E-L-T-A, five letters completely changed my life and put it in a different direction to where I am today. Um, and I mean, interestingly, this is like a side note, on, on that bicycle adventure or scooter adventure, the, the two uh, Australian couple crashed their scooter, had to go back in a taxi, and I ended up mm, having to be the brave one and ride their scooter back, uh, coincidentally on the most dangerous highway in Vietnam at the time. And as you can see, I survived. <laughs> so following on from that, I'll just give you a quick uh, summary of my, you know, like teaching career. So I did my CELTA in London. After London, I taught uh, kids in Thailand and then university level students. I decided that teaching I thought was the thing for me. So I went back and I really wanted to improve my knowledge in the area of teaching. So I decided to do a uh, masters of teaching English. And at the completion of that, after a few side trips, I ended up teaching English for academic purposes at a university in Melbourne and I also while in Melbourne met my wife became an IELTS examiner and also I did something which was really interesting where I felt after doing it I'd actually become a teacher it was like an action research pro project which is like classroom based research and I think it really um, pushed me to, I don't know, self-develop as a teacher. Now, at the end of all, all this, and I don't know, five, six, seven years later, um, after getting married and living in Melbourne a bit longer, we, me and my partner, decided to move back or to Thailand, which is her, her home country, and we moved back to a small town in Thrat and opened a school there together. And that's, uh, I suppose, where the masks, the mask came in. Here we go. We've got pronunciation panda, grammar gorilla. Um, so the idea of the masks is, is that I think, I mean, this is coming from my own personal experience of learning a second language, i.e. Thai, um, is that when you speak or communicate in a second language, it's like wearing a mask because in the early stages or even intermediate stages, you can't express yourself or your personality like you can in your first language. So there's this mask blocking who you really are with people you're communicating to. So I think in moving into Thailand, moving to Thailand, um, I felt I sort of lost a bit of myself because I see myself as like a, a failed language learner. I've put a lot of effort into it. I can read pretty well. I can communicate in low level topics. Um, but I wouldn't say I got past inter intermediate with it. And because of that, I couldn't show who I really am 
to the people around me when I communicate in Thai and that's why I have all these masks because I think it can be quite how do I say it painful when you can't show who you are to people when you lose key pillars of, of your personality behind a language learning mask and it can really lead to I, don't, I think dark times and particularly with the pressures of COVID and uh, it deepened those feelings of isolation and I'd say I went I went into some dark dark times so the idea of taking your mask off in English is because I really feel for people who have to learn a second language and find it difficult to express themselves, to show who they really are, to be this sort of cardboard cutout version of themselves. So what this channel is all about is helping you, helping me, helping anyone who's learning a second language, in particular English, and really wants to be seen for who they are. And that's how I suppose English Riot was born and also where all the masks and, and things came from. Um, so yeah, that, that's me, a quick uh, roundabout tour of who I am, where I came from and what's the deal with all those, all those masks. I'm not a weirdo, please, uh, believe me. <laughs> Uh, or maybe a little bit. They say you should own your weirdness, so I'm trying to own my weirdness and show a bit more of myself. So yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment rating this performance if you like this style of video or not, and give me some constructive, constructive feedback. Uh, and also, I mean, I do all these videos for free, so all I ask is for you to subscribe if you if you got something out of this video usually I post on every Wednesday I try to keep a, a schedule most of the videos are more content based like talking about how to improve your pronunciation vocabulary grammar or speaking um, but I'll also be adding in some of these talking directly to the current to the camera which I'll call uh, English Riot Rants and this is a form of practice for me in speaking unscripted to the lens like I'm speaking to you now and I'll be doing on you know interesting topics in English which hopefully you'll find interesting so over and out and as I like to say and as now you understand what these are all about really I really hope that you can start taking your English mass off today. See you later.